Welcome to Leopard's Twab Reading for August 18th, 2022, the week Season 17 ends. This week at Bungie. We're talking about Season 18 mods, ARC 3.0, and some additional save the dates. Not too much longer before our grand showcase, Guardians. Believe me when I say that we cannot wait to show you what's next. Thanks for the YouTube video, Sax DYSP, the five gifted subs. Don't distract me, this is for YouTube. Believe me when I say we cannot wait to show you what's next. It'll be fun time for all, but August 23rd isn't quite here yet, so we've got some juicy morsels. For you to mull over in the meantime. How does talking about Season 18 mods, more showcase details, and a closer look at the next subclass rework sound to you? Sounds good? Great. Let's get into it. Blood puts on the YouTube voice? No shot. ARC 3.0 brings all the jolts to the yard. I just died of cringe. And it's like, it's better than solar. That's a tangent. As you may have already seen, we shared our first real look at what the next subclass revamp will look like. One John, thanks to the 420 bits. With ARC 3.0, but just in case you missed it, you can catch up on all that sparky goodness right here with our full blog post. You thought you liked basically becoming Palpatine before with ARC? You just wait. The biggest part of our most recent blog post details how to light up that battlefield with new abilities as a small recap for those Guardians on the go. Here's a taste of what's to come with ARC 3.0. Demonetized. Grandma's favorite song, that's right. <laughs> Swift Store thanks to the 100 bits. Don't start a scam train right now, chat. This is for YouTube. The biggest part of our most recent blog post details how to light up the battlefield with new abilities as a small recap for those guardians on the go. Here's a taste of what's to come with ARC 3.0. First things first, let's get the big thing, big thing out of the way. Hunters, you're coming home because you're not only getting blink back, that's the jump ability where you teleport. Oh yeah, it's finally happening. But ARC Staff Super is also coming back in all of its glory. This is all gonna be on the YouTube video, Sicario. Yeah, that's how we do it, meme videos. One more thing, there's also a new super where you get to deal damage effortlessly like the boss you are, but you'll see more about that later. It's easy to see that we're more than a little jazzed about it, but stick to a TLDR, two spaces, introduction. Why are there blue letters? It has something to do with like the compression with Twitch. On my screen, it's fine, but... Or the compression with OBS. I don't know, it's like my graphic uh, capture card. It's something, I don't know. Only good Twitch stream thanks for the 100 bits. Don't try to start a scam train. The new abilities buff is all about making you feel mighty. Movement speed, movement readiness, all matters, but we want players to feel powerful by showing off their skills, and that's where amplified buff will come into play. To become amplified essentially means to be on a roll. For example, if you're the type of player that goes ham hard as a mother in game and eats foes for breakfast, you'll experience a satisfying increase in your personal performance. Isn't, that's what ham means, right? with arc damage. Do more damage and get more out of this whole Guardian deal. Might as well. After all, I can't imagine the health benefits are what... I can't imagine the health benefits are what draw people into the gig of fighting the darkness and other things. Hard as a mother father. Risk Runner and Arcurius... Ac Nut Cannon mains. Acrius mains. Now is your time to shine. Unlike the previous 3.0 iterations, Void, Invisibility, Solar, Radiant... <gasps> you won't need to equip any special... Uh, specific aspects or fragments. I like where this is going to become amplified. For no reason in particular, you might want to break out Thunderlord out of the old vault while you're at it. We've been using it for solo flawless master and duality runs. Um, they wait. So, arc weapons, arc exotics actually going to work with arc 3.0? No way. On the debuff side, blind, PVE blinded opponents will be disoriented and blinded, leaving them vulnerable and incapacitated. PvP opponents are affected by a complete screen whiteout effect and the HUD and the HUD's temporary removal. There's also... Wait, why is there an apostrophe there? What is that? Possessive HUD? HUD is temporary removal? What the... Huh? Uh, there's also a disorienting ringing effect, so that's fun. Jolt! I'm being pedantic about apostrophes, so I give myself a tangent. 
Uh, jolt, any opponent PVP or PVE that is jolted will disperse small bursts of lightning to nearby enemies, which helps do that dirty work for you. Oh, sick. Basically, the foundation for Ark is about just letting loose and showing off what you're made of. But what about ability? And even exotic changes to learn about all about the new subclass abilities for Ark 3.0, including returning favorites like Blink and what else the latest subclass revamp has to offer Hunters, Warlocks, and Titans. You can check out the full blog post here. That's another video. There, you can also hear from some of the team the thought process about the thought process behind Arc 3.0 changes, as well as more info on the new aspect players can expect. Yes. The inspiration for Arc 3.0 is Crank 2, Jason, Jason Statham, one of the best movies ever made. Arc 3.0 will be the best remake for a subclass in Destiny. Excited to learn even more. Don't forget to see all the action yourself in our showcase on August 23rd. Four days, 21 hours, 10 minutes away for the pre-show. Link your other video there. Mm, that's going to take editing and post. And we don't edit and post. We just upload right away. Tangent. Six minutes, 25 seconds in. This is a lengthy one. <sighs> Unlucky. You've heard this one. Copium high voltage. <laughs> A new season means new mods. We've heard the community loud and clear on the state of champion mods. In addition to the weapon tweaks mentioned in last week's This Week at Bungie, we've got a different menu up for grabs when it comes down to crafting that perfect build. Here to explain some of the new ways to build is senior design Andrew Veen. Andrew Veen says we've got a lot of love for machine guns, and with the weapon meta featuring them heavily with Season 18, we have several ways to share that love when crafting that perfect new arc build. With Arc 3.0 being all about that rapid fire mayhem, making mods like Holster Scavenger Overload more obtainable and unlocked sooner seemed like a great fit. True. There's a trifecta of returning favorites from Season of the Chosen. Scout Sniper Targeting. <gasps> Anti-Barrier Snipe. <gasps> Sundering Glare. <gasps> We're excited about these, especially because players have been clamoring for the return of Anti-Barrier Snipe, and this season's meta and encounter types made it perfect time to add it in. So we're getting Sniper Anti-Barrier back on the menu. She That's for the YouTube. <laughs> Tangent. One of the new mods we're featuring is Bad Amp. I still look dead inside when I say it, so it's clearly just faked. Um, one of the new mods we're featuring is Bad Amplitude. We created this particular mod to increase access to Jolt in Season 18 while also giving players a new answer to the age-old question, how can I make champions explode? It is an age-old question. Hype Train Conductor. <gasps> Hype Train? Uh, and Trace Evidence are also new to the artifact, though these two mods will make it make more sense when you've had some hands-on with Arc 3.0. For mods that are entirely new, we've got these mods bolded so it's easy to spot what's new. Anything not bolded is either based on previous mods or reprisals. Here we go. Artifact mods. First row. Overload bow. Unstoppable pulses. Anti-barrier scouts. Anti-barrier autos. And unstoppable shoddies. How much energy, bro? Hood. Thanks for the 100 bits. DYSP, thanks for the 420. After two perk choices, we got scout rifle loader. Sword ammo scav. Machine Gun Holster, Scout and Sniper Targeting, Bottomless Bounty 1 on the head improves two origin perks. I don't know which two. Third column, Glaive Loader. Woo! Focusing Strike, causing damage with a melee ability grants class ability energy. Uh Oh, that's like a... That's like a, a base mod, but it's probably cheaper in the artifact, I guess. Combo arc plus solar resist chest. So we got arc solar resist this season. Arc solar resist. You're going to want that void element chest most likely. Machine gun ammo scav. Bottomless bounty two. Two origin perks on the head. Fourth column. After eight perk choices, overload LMG. How expensive are you? Probably nine. 
Um, yeah, so Overload LMG seems kind of weird, but I'll try it. Anti-Barrier Snipe. Arms, how expensive? Hopefully not six. That's way too expensive. IMO. Bad Amplitude. For on the class item, damage a champion with an arc ability causes the champion to become jolted AF. It means he'll deal, he'll spit out arc damage everywhere. Surge Detectors on class. Uh, someone tell me what Surge Detectors is. I can't remember. Inferno Whip. I remember it, but I don't know what it does on class. On the final column, this is where the juicy stuff is. Thunderous Retort. Doesn't appear bolded. Okay. Arc supers do more damage when cast while in critical condition or while amplified. Arc supers do more damage when cast while in critical condition or amplified. Thunder Trash. Falling Star. Chaos Reach. Hello. Hype Train Conductor. Two plus seconds to amplified timer stacks. Uh, amplified timer. Okay. Maybe that helps you chain a lot better. Okay. YouTubers can't read. What? What did I, what did I not read correctly? Trace evidence. Precision hits on arc. Debuff targets will generate ionic traces. This reduces your ability cooldowns for arc. Trace evidence. Precision hits on arc debuff. Probably not going to use that. Six Thunder Trash Amplified One Shot Atheon. Hell yeah. Good thing we're saving up bounties for day one rating since we only have three days to grind. Lightning Strikes. Twice. Class. Oh, they're keeping it secret. Or this. I thought Bold was new. For mods that are entirely new, we got those mods bolded. Anything not bolded is based on a previous thing. So what is this? I don't remember. Someone remind me. This is not bold. Must not be new. What is it? Thundering glare. That was the... Can't remember. Grenade rate by using Arcnade. Okay. Got it. And this? Thundering glare. I, I used it a lot. I can't remember what it did. It did remind me. Every time a new season comes, I just forget the old season. For the YouTube, Nerm. For the YouTube. Hey, Nerm, don't forget. Debuff by hitting crits on champs? Rapid precisions, long range, weaken any enemy. That's what Sundering... Oh, this is God tier. God tier. Throw those fusion grenades on the moon, buddy. Before August 26th, you get this thing unlocked. ASAP. As with Void and Solar, you all make your own decisions on how to craft that perfect build. We'll just take an additional moment here to say the Hype Train, Ban Amplitude, Lightning Strikes Twice have a lot of potential for those looking to make a spicy Guardian even spicier. I'm interested in trying... Thunderous Retort with high damage supers with a high damage ex super exotic. <laughs> Thanks, Nerm. You should start screaming and shouting when you read Sundering Glare. I'm just not a good YouTuber, man. Get in, Guardian. We're getting our calendars. Iron Banner, Grandmaster, Nightfalls, and more. Oh my. Yep, it's that time again. Time to roll out the invite list for some key de deets dates to keep an eye on when diving deep into the season let's make it facebook official oh god please god it's to the metaverse and set a date raid launch is set for august 26th correct friday eight days from now iron banner arrives on september 6th and november 15th grenader jake very happy to know that you can take a weekend off both weeks will feature the new eruption mode let's erupt bros Charles Vasiris brings back the lighthouse on September 13th. Like two or three weeks without trials. Grandmaster Nightfalls return October 4th. Yay, I don't have to worry about GMs and for a while, just solo GMs. Eruption Van Halen. I don't I don't, I don't think so. Last but not least, Festival of the Lost will makes everything haunted on October 18th.
Uh, that's a Tuesday. It means that week. So, like, this 17th, I think. Maybe this is the New Orleans in me. We love Halloween, okay? But I'm particularly excited to see everybody running around in their community voted festival gear. Team Mex, baby. Woo! Five more sleeps. Only five more sleeps before we finally get to the show of all things the team. Before we finally get to show off all the things the team has been working on behind the scenes. Guardians. While Guardians around the world were busy confronting hard truths and learning what it means to be a survivor in Seasonal Haunted, our devs have been hard at work on what the future will look like against the Witness and its impressive allies. Wait, what is this? You already watched this, right? Yeah, I already watched this. In case you're living under a Cabal dropship, our upcoming showcase is bringing the noise on August 23rd, where we'll show you the first look on what's next in exciting detail. The festivities will be going down over on Twitch through our official Bungie channels. Even better? There will be localization options for our global players. Here's what you need to know. Sir Pancakes, thanks for five months. Harder money. August 23rd, 9 a.m. Pacific. Pre-show, 8 a.m. Pacific. 9, 10, 11. That's 21 hours. Four days, 21 hours from now. Okay. Twitch, YouTube, and what the hell is this? Billy, Billy. Oh, is that the is that the stream streaming service in China? Is Twitch and YouTube blocked in China? Oh, is Bungie partnered with China? Some country or some uh, co company in China? Billy, ready? Billy, Billy squad that speedruns GMs. Uh, maybe net ease. Ah, okay, tangent. Ooh, maybe we'll get a um, matter announcement, the unannounced whatever code name for whatever they're working on with NetEase. Isn't that NetEase? Or are we just guessing at that point? For our global players, there are several available channels localized to watch the upcoming Destiny 2 reveal stream. The main Destiny 2 showcase will have localized subtitles available for following languages on these channels. French, German, Italian, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, simplified Chinese, J Japanese, and Korean. Uh-oh, Twitch drops our bag. You, whoo, I'm about to secure the bag, baby. Twitch drops are debuting for Destiny 2 for the first time. As a small token of appreciation for stopping by to watch our Destiny 2 showcase on Twitch. Oh, this is for them, not us. We'll be offering up the glorious Starbirth emblem as a reward. To be eligible, you need to make sure your Twitch account is linked to your Destiny 2 account and your Bungie.net profile, so don't miss out on the emblem. It's pretty simple. Simply tune into the official Bungie Twitch channel. <sighs> now you know when we're going to watch in our streams. Just the official Bungie stream. Unlucky. On August 23rd from 9 a.m. Pacific to 11.30 a.m. Pacific and watch at least 30 minutes to showcase for that sweet, sweet celebratory loot. Here's what you do. You open up Bungie. the, the twitch.tv slash Bungie, okay? Turn it all the way down to like 1%. And then you turn on twitch.tv slash leopard for the live, totally not dead inside reaction. No, that's that's probably a bad idea. For more information, please visit our Twitch Drops Help article. Please keep this up, but not just for the official channels. Am I one of the official nine channels? <laughs> no. Once the showcase itself wraps up, don't hop out too soon. Following our take on show and tell, we'll also be hosting a post-show live stream with some of the team to talk about what was shown off. We're especially excited to welcome D Flawless, a wildly passionate content creator that has proven time and time again that he's got the stuff that Guardians are made of. Onto the stage to chat with us. If you're interested in learning more about the world of Destiny 2 from the mouths of those that continue to craft its future with each season, you're not going to want to miss out on this. Twitch.tv slash new flawless. You follow Twitch.tv slash flawless? No? Well, look at the time. It's time. Hit the follow button. It's free. Just saying. Ready to learn more about Arc 3, uh, Lightfall Arc 3.0 and even more good because we can't wait to show you. Check out our official Destiny 2 sh Showcase tune-in page for more details. Diamond Club, baby. 
There's the official Destiny 2 Showcase page. Not much to see. I'm scared. Plus one, all the way from Germany. Destiny not working? Uh, I think Destiny's working, but we're reading the TWAB so we can secure that YouTube bag. We, I plan to make $2 off this video. Bungie Showcase is going to be 29 minutes and 30 seconds long. No. When are you moving over to Billy Billy? As soon as I learn Mandarin. Uh, which is to say never. Because uh, I'm not smart enough. Our humble community team grows by one more. Let's go. This time from Germany. Our latest community manager is... I'm going to mess this up, and I'm sorry. You know, I want to say Timon, but I know it's not. I'm going to say Timon. T T Timon. Tim Timon? Timon. Okay, I slaughtered it multiple ways. Apologize. I'm going to assume the nickname is Tim. That's probably a bad assumption. Timon and Pumbaa. No, I don't think that's it. Simon. Timon. Oh, you think so? Simon Timon? Okay, Timon. Let's go with that. Hi, friends. Oh, wait. You best believe he's the beesiest of bees knees. Don't forget to show him lots of love. Not Timon. It's Time. Wow, I'm so confused. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Simon Timon. Hi, friends. I am Timon, the new community manager for Guardians in Germany, France, and the UK. Our community is filled with amazing people all over the world that will not only affect my work, but also the world of Bungie and how we are evolving Destiny. Let's do it together. Um, Like Lion King? You think so? Timon? I don't... <sighs> we need an official announcement. Most enjoyable for me to take my warlock into dungeons and raids with friends and fellow guardians. Yeah, I know. Another warlock. What's with the class hate? Play all three, baby. Titan, warlock, hunter. All great. Main whatever you want. Oh, make fun of someone else for maining something. What's wrong with you? I might main my Starfire Warlock. Ooh, Starfire Protocols. How crazy it is to play with those fusion grenades. Hella fun. And I love all three classes the same. Hunter with Caliban's hand for those enjoyable ignitions everywhere. And never die in Titan with Lorely. Unless you get architected by a phalanx shield. <laughs> Teeman. Timon, you're making that up. I won't be revealing info about the game, but if you want to connect on social, you can follow me on Twitter. I will right now. Boom. Done. Blow up that follower account. Underscore Timon X 25. I have heard a lot of stories over the years about conquering world first raids, meeting new friends, and the various ways that destiny has touched your lives. I would love to hear more. Germannames.de wiki. Okay. You made this up. Oh, no. Okay. Timon. Timon. Simon. Timon. Timon. T, not Ty. Timon. Okay, got it. Timon. Maybe. Still not sure. I can't wait to experience your the future of Destiny with you together, says Timon. See you in the stars, Guardian. Clean up, Guardian? What? How time Huta. Halt hein Hüter. Halt hein Hüter. Halt hein Hüter. Lepchuk. Um, clean up. Eyes up. I don't know. I think there's a problem with the Google translation there. I don't think that's right. Uh, player support report. Clean up, Guardians. Wash your damn hands. What does it mean for all the Germans in chat? Oh, it means let's go? 
Okay, I believe you. I'll believe that. Last call for ghost busting. Not all heroes wear capes. Our player support team does sometimes really uh, wear really spiffy hoodies, though. And that's basically the same thing. That and they really are heroes. They help make the player experience better one update at a time. This week's report will focus heavily on lingering solstice event issues, which you can check out below. This is their report. Update 620. They changed the build numbers. Release schedule. Now their internal build numbers match their external build numbers. Whoa. To prepare for the launch of Season of the Redact... We still don't know the name of Season 18. De Destiny 2 will undergo scheduled downtime from 9 a.m. Pacific to 11 a.m. Pacific on August 23rd. Below is the scheduled timeline for this release. So, here we go. 9 a.m. Pacific, maintenance is scheduled to begin. 9.45, Destiny 2 is brought offline. 10 a.m., reset time. So, the game is only down for 15 minutes before Season 18. Update 620 will be playable on all platforms and regions Nothing at reset. Nice. One hour after reset, maintenance is scheduled to complete. It'll definitely only be down for 15 minutes. There will be no issues on day one. <sighs> Let's go, baby. Mike Sink, get one to Timon and Mickey Tips, get one to Pumba. <laughs> More information, please visit our Destiny server and update the help status. Art help update status help article. Last chance bungee rewards. Players looking to earn certain bungee rewards should complete the associated in-game achievements before 10 a.m. Pacific on August 23rd. Reaper Seal collectible medallion pin, the Severance t-shirt, Thought Sealer pin, and Hawkeye Deep Explorer hoodie. These rewards will be available to purchase from the bungee store on August 20, uh, 31, 2022, 11.59 p.m. Pacific. Claim your in-game rewards. Players should make sure to claim all engrams and other rewards before the new season begins. Any rewards not claimed from virtual... Virtual, virtual, yeah, that's that's definitely that word. Ritual vendors, Zavala Shacks, Drifter, Saint 14, will be removed at the beginning of the next season. Yeah, turn in all those bounties. Players should also claim and equip any seals titles they haven't locked this season. Known issues. Are these season 18 known issues? Or end of season 17 known issues? Probably end of seven, 17. End of season 17 known issues. While we continue investigating various known issues, here's is a list of the latest issues that are reported to us in our hashtag help forum. A blank emblem may appear in collections for players who participate in the Bungie Foundation Giving Festival. The Hyperborean Pinion Exotic Sparrow cannot be obtained from collections? Dead game! If a vaulted seal and title were acquired on a character that gets deleted, the seal might not be able to be equipped again. <gasps> People still play Destiny 2? My mind's blown. <laughs> what are they doing? Do they know other games are out? That's crazy. Severance package emblem isn't dropping from the crown of sorrow after players reset their rank. Aw. This issue... Wait, crown of sorrow? Oh, not the raid that you vaulted. You mean the... The helm social space uh this issue will be resolved a few weeks into season 18 that and the emblem will drop for any player who has reset their rank the life for life emblem from season 16 cannot be unlocked by players i'll give myself a tangent for that attempted a roast ratioed players may also uh, players may have to refresh their bungee rewards page a few times for various rewards to become claimable Ooh. on the website exclamation point uh, what is that? Power? Exclamation point power. I think we have the link to the previous season bungee rewards page. Remember to use that when you're leveling up in season 18. A dare another day screen keeps appearing for players after they've reset Xur's strange favor rank the maximum number of times. I don't know how people play this game. It's so broken, dude. Can't believe it. For a full list of emergent issues and Destiny 2 players can review our known issues article. Players who observe other issues should report them to our hashtag help form. This time, the hashtag not linkable. Before? Oh, never mind. I swear to God, it was like... Oh, nothing was linkable. Okay. Never mind. I'll take the L on that one. You can't be a knight if you don't acolyte one.
That was pretty good. I've never heard that one. Hippie says, so I heard you like levitating. We've seen a ton of Crucible takedown videos every day, and they are incredibly impressive. We are about to get to watch a PvP montage. Get on the edge of your seat, stat. However, there was one particular PvP compilation video this week that immediately enraptured us. The edits clean, the takedowns flawless, the Guardian style perfection. Their enemy team may have been there for a good time, but after being smoked with some of these one-shot wonders, it is fair to say that they weren't around for a long time. Levitating with the montage. Let's go, baby. DMCA? DMCA? Question mark? DMCA? DMCA. God dang it. Don't ban me. Popping off. Pow, pow. Reload. Pow, pow. Double kill. Uh. Edits. Music. Edits. Uh, GG, single kill, double kill, triple kill, headshot, dodge, that's the best I got, chaperone, chaperone kill, uh, Z zombie, thanks to follow, um, melee kill, skipping ahead, spamming Dawnblade, Triple. Oh, he's on that map. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is on my screen? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Oh, uh, pow. Trials of Osiris. Thorn getting the double headshot kill. Picking up Soul Devour. He's getting the. Oh, no, no, it was not a seven tick on the damage. Um. TTVs are being slayed left and right. Let's go. Winning Trials of Osiris. Trying to not get DMCA'd here. Got to keep muting it. Poof, sniper shot. Uh, melee freeze stasis um, thing. I can't remember what it's called. DMCA. God dang it, man. Pow. Punch with the something. What is this? Titan? And that was Levit uh, How to XD called Levitating, the song that was being played. Unfortunately, I can't listen to it because DMCA. And uh, here we are. What the hell was this part with the little kid walking around, man? What was? What was? Can someone? Can someone fill me in here? What is? Is that like the editor like tried to slip in something funny and like maybe he wouldn't notice? <laughs> It's a meme? Hook me up. What's the meme? Kids got drip. I mean, clearly. Captain Matt, good afternoon. Ahoy. Sam says, Solstice is always a lot of fun for Guardians because not only does it give you super fun activity to do with your friends while also fighting, while also lighting things on fire, it gives us another space to create some really creative videos. Since we're getting close to autumn, here is a monster mashup of what, of a uh, monster mashup we think you will really get a laugh out of. Bonfire Bash by... Lucent Beam. Mistakes. That name sounds familiar. Lum okay, Foul, thanks for 21 months of free money. Welcome back to the stream. Ahoy. DMCA. DMCA? It's a parody. I think it'll pass. We don't make mistakes. <laughs> I'm a big fan of parodying music and putting in game lyrics. Big fan. <laughs> we played the bonfire bash. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. It sounds like so sometimes with these parodies, DMCA automated processes are so dumb they'll actually um, bonk you for it and get a strike and potentially lose my only source of income. <laughs> um, so it's still risky, even though technically I could like challenge it. 
but if the actual music is different enough, it won't be automatically picked up. So, Lucent Beam has a bunch of Destiny themed parody videos. Thought so. Sounded familiar. Link to the kid walking meme. Oh, okay. Let me see this. Yo, comma. Thanks for 12 months of primers. Welcome back. TikTok, April 2022. Oh, God. That's why I don't know about it. Okay. I'm not going to watch all of this, but it's well done. And I love parodies. But in the risk of DMCA, it's just, it's just better this way. It's just safer for me. Love creativity like that. Thinking about doing a um, Wellerman parody. Soon may the raid boss come to bring us inland and gear and guns. Then when the battle is won, we'll take our loot and go. Something like that. Hippie says, hopping yeah, in. Oh, that's a tangent. Hopping in one more time to add a piece yeah, that inspired that majestic. Don't lie, you know, you liked it. Acolyte pun as this week's movie of the week title. Because the video itself will rip out your heartstrings, so you can all really all you can do all you can really do is laugh awkwardly and drown in those feels. I'm not ashamed. I'm not proud. Water drinker, thanks for 10 months of primers. You're a year late for sea shanty memes. Yeah, I know, but I'm just finally starting to care about YouTube, so here we are. Vi Volatile. Volatile. Nailed it. First try. Checks in the mail. Uh, this one by Ye Old Apple it says hurt. DMCA. On the thing. I think. Sounds familiar. And you could have yeah. Full of broken goes away. Man. Triple DMCA, can't watch it, feels bad. Unlucky. Weird assembles, beach vibes, and a good time. Are you on the Tic Tac yet? Yeah, dude. Exclamation point socials? I just haven't uploaded anything yet, but I'm there. Artist of the Week, Bruno says, do you want to know the secret to Rolk's immense power? It's not his knowledge of the darkness. It's not his god roll glaive. It's not his fondness of puzzles with weird symbols. The secret to personally destroying a whole civilization is a lot simpler than that. Never skip leg day. Yo, same dog. Art of the Week, Ruin in Lubre by Flazino. None escape my wrath, not even the little ones. <gasps> He's like Anakin. Shattered sky, planet convulsing, tearing apart, Lubre in ruins. Wow. What's it like to be talented, Gabrielle? Huh? You just wake up? Being all talented and stuff? Must be nice. Crutching on talent your whole life. That's incredible. I was expecting no less than 5,000 likes. Bruno says, Ivan is enjoying some time off, so I'm doing this again. Did you know Sabathine's Throne World had a secret thermal water pool only for VIPs? Because I didn't. I'm working on my vibe. Maybe next summer. <laughs> Total block sunscreen by Significant Otter. World Throne World Beach Episode Part 1. My first entry for hashtag solar embrace of all three check out all the amazing entries in the tag no one gave leopard an invite didn't get to show off my calves okay Eris in a bikini with a sun hat I don't know where uh, what Doctor Strange alternate reality is this Sabathun, big chillin'. Big chillin'. <laughs> the ghost? Oh, what's his name? The, the ghost in the floaty? What's his, the, I forgot his name. Akora, part of the story again, let's go. Amaru, yeah, there we go. 
There's nothing wrong with trying to secure the bag. And that's a wrap on our latest Twabtastic adventure. Mike Singh, thanks for the gift of sub two quick stretch. It feels good going into the weekend knowing I'm far from alone and being excited for next week. Our teams are beyond jittery with hype over here, and we're seeing your excitement too, which only amplifies our own that much more. Basically, we're all just a big ball of intrigue, anticipation, and desire to fully immerse ourselves in what's next together. And that's what it's all about, really. Link on the S. Weird pug with a weird thing. A link on the N. Dog picture big nose until then make sure you're drinking lots of water Kirkland Grand Sparkling Water <sighs> so getting good vibes and always putting your kindest foot forward we'll see you next week Guardians I should go hippie and that is your TWAB reading by Leopard on a Friday. It took 41 minutes and 20 seconds on Friday. Wait, did I say Friday? Thursday. I usually read it on Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern, always at the same time. This time, however, I read it on Thursday at exactly the time that it came out, which today was like at 1.50 p.m. Eastern. Um, TLDR, as far as game information, the game only down for 15 minutes at the end of season 17. And uh, you can use a bunch of weapons for arc. They'll do stuff, unlike the other solar and void changes. And then we got a peek at the artifact mods. And most notable, Sundering Glare is back debuff long range multiple precision shots um lightning strikes twice getting your grenade arc grenade back um extra arc super damage while um amplified or hurt i think those are big oh two plus two seconds to amplified stacks to making you can so you can chain amplified better and um yeah there you go that's your this week at Bungie Reading. Bye, Leopard. Bye, YouTube!